Saturday, November 25th. Now, the first Monday after Kennedy was killed, we went back to school and uh, back at Sacred Heart School, things were different. They were just different. We lined up in the playground. And we were marched inside in our class lines, except we were brought into the big assembly room. And there were chairs all set up for us. Uh, not enough chairs for the whole school, so the first three years had to sit on the floor, and the rest of us got the chairs. And then the principal stepped up to a microphone, a shiny metal microphone. And, uh, and she led us in a prayer. Everybody stood for the prayer, and then everybody sat down. And then she proceeded to tell us that... Uh, you know, we all had to live our lives like, like good Christians, just as John Kennedy had lived his lives. We should live our lives like he did, a a except for the getting shot at the end of our life part, of course. I looked down the row and I saw uh, Sister Freddie smacking uh, Gregor. He was talking while the principal was talking. I looked at the clock. Oh, it was 9.15. Oh, God. Th this is going to take forever. And then I looked to the back of the room and the eighth graders, they all looked just as bored as we did. That nobody was interested. Nobody really wanted to be here. And eventually, it took a long time, but eventually it was over and we got up and went to our respective classrooms. And when we piled into the classroom, Sister Freddie was about to give us an assignment and Barryman, a kid I knew from Little League, asked if we were still going to have the exams. And she said, we will carry on with our work just as we always have. A terrible thing has happened. A terrible, but... But that does not change what we will do. No, the, Jesus Christ did not die on the cross so we could not do what we need to do. We need to carry on. Now, open your mathematics and progress books and get to work. Oh, well, she told us. But down in the lunchroom, sitting at the table, we all commiserated with each other about what a lousy weekend we had. And then um, this feeling, it, it didn't go away. It didn't go away for a long time. It, it was the adult world's feeling of misery. It just sort of came down and settled upon us. And we lived with it for weeks, for months. Down in the lunchroom, uh, Baxter agreed with Sister Freddie. Well, yeah, we, we just, we just, uh, we got to just carry on with our work. But, you know, we are different now. Tommy Tadpole said, how? How, Baxter? How are we different? Well, now we're orphans. Hmm. That's what happened to us. Well... We'll do another one tomorrow. See you then.